<clears throat> Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Himayatullah Khan and I am going to analyze quantitative variables. In my last two videos, uh, you saw uh, one-way classification and then cross tabulation and chi-square chi test analysis. Now I would like to analyze uh, quantitative data and uh, quantitative data analysis is uh, somewhat different from the analysis of uh, descriptive variables or categorical variables. So let me go to analyze and uh, under analyze uh, I would like to go to descriptive statistics but this time since since my variables are quantitative so I will not go for frequencies but rather I would uh, uh, press uh, descriptives here. So after pressing descriptives you know I, I, I get this uh, small window and uh, I would like to scoot uh, my quantitative variables uh, in this uh, blank table. So one of my quantitative variable is current salary so I will send it here. My second variable is beginning salary. I will also scoot it here and then uh, this uh, month since hiring that is experience and uh, previous job experience. So there are four quantitative variables uh, which I want to analyze and uh, I want to uh, know their descriptive analysis. So before uh, going to uh, pressing OK, let me uh, press uh, option and here under option, um, I may also uh, like to know the variance of the variable, the range of the variable and standard error of the mean and even kurtosis and um, skewness. So after continuing this, let me press OK and uh, yeah, I have this, uh, this is the analysis of my um, four variables. Here you see uh, this is descriptive and uh, the first column of the descriptive statistics gives me uh, n that is the uh, size of the sample and uh, for each variable the size of sample is the same because there is no missing uh, observation um, uh, within any variable so the total number of uh, observation is uh, same for all the uh, four variables that is current salary, beginning salary, uh, this is experience and this is previous experience in months. Uh, the second column basically uh, tells me the range and range is the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. These are minimum values, these are maximum values and these are uh, the averages. These, this is the average of current salary, this is the average of beginning salary and this is the average of uh, the experience on the same job and this is the average experience before this job that is uh, previous experience. This is standard error of the mean, that is standard deviation. These are the variance values for the four variables and these are skewnesses as well as the kurtosis. So this is basically this descriptive uh, statistics of uh, uh, quantitative variables. A question arises, why don't we do uh, frequency distribution for uh, a quantitative variables? Uh, we can do, but you know it will be meaningless if we, uh, if we want to uh, do the frequency analysis for a particular uh, quantitative variable. So let me see what would happen if I could uh, uh, do frequency analysis for this variable which is salary. So going to analyze descriptive and frequency. It doesn't mean that uh, I can't uh, do frequency analysis for a quantitative variable. I can do that but it would be me uh, it would be meaningless. It would not be meaningful. It would not give me any information. So let me uh, uh, shift the current salary to this and uh, now pressing OK, if I press OK, so you know it gives me uh, a very big table and uh, this is raw data and it doesn't give me any information. So usually for quantitative variable, uh, we don't do frequency distribution, we either do descriptives or we can then convert the frequency, uh, we can convert the raw data of a quantitative variable into a meaningful, uh, into a group data. So instead of uh, um, instead of making frequency distribution for a quantitative variable uh, which is meaningless, let me analyze this data in another way so that uh, I can uh, uh, I can convert the raw data into a group uh, into a um, group data. So how can I do that? Please be with me. Uh, transform. I will go to transform and uh, I would uh, like to uh, record 
into a different variable because if I record a variable into the same variable, then these value will change. These value will change. So I don't and I want to keep this value, these with this variable and all these values as the same, and I want to transform this variable into another variable and I want to convert this raw data into a group data. So for that I would uh, record into a different variable. So after transform I will go to record into different variable. I will press it. When I press it, uh, it asks me input variable. So what is my input variable? My input variable is that uh, I want to change this. I want to transform this. And uh, output variable, it says what should be the name of uh, your output variable that you want to change. So this is salary. So my next variable should be, let us suppose, salary 1. So that there is difference between the old variable and the new variable, right? So I will press change. So it will change this, and then I will go to old and uh, new values. When I go to old and new values, uh, let us suppose, uh, let us suppose, let us suppose, uh, um, I I I give it one, one, and uh, let me start with the range lowest through the beginning. Uh, <clears throat> so I will give the range. Let us suppose uh, up to up to this should be say uh, thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. So I add it, and then I will go to range. I will go to range. Range, 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 and my range is uh, no range is here. So that should be 34001 up to uh, say 65000 and I will add this, continue, sorry, sorry I made a mistake, uh, change this and all in new values, okay. So let me give two for this. This should be two. I I, I forgot this, and this should be thirty-five thousand one up to sixty-five thousand, and I will add this, and then my third value should be uh, again. It should be sixty-five thousand one uh, up to say eighty ninety thousand. I'll say 95,000, 95,000 and uh, I will send it here and my last value, it should be range value through highest, so it should be, I will click this one and I will write uh, 95,000, 95,001 and I will add and this time I will continue, when I continue uh, I will press OK and another variable will be created for me which, which will be labeled as salary 1. So after this, uh, if I say yes, another variable has been created. So let me go to the data and uh, under data, yes, this variable has been created for me. Uh, but before uh, doing any other analysis, let me go to the variable view and uh, let me uh, define the uh, labels. Uh, since uh, there are four values, so my first value is up to 35,000, MI2, label 2, that is equal to 35,001, up to 65,000, and uh, my 3 was equal to uh, 65,001, up to 95,000. And my last value that is 4, that was equal to 95, above 95,000. So 95,001 and above. I will add it and uh, I will uh, OK. Now I will go to my data view. And uh, this time, if I make a frequency distribution of this variable, because I converted the quantitative data from salary into a qualitative form, and I defined various uh, classes for that, that is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now if I analyze this and go to descriptive and after that a frequencies and uh, this time uh, I would like to uh, shift 
salary one variable to this and um, okay now this time you see instead of instead of instead of having a frequency distribution of current salary like this which is such a big table that you know I cannot read from this and it is not meaningful to read it so it is easy for me to convert the raw data into a group data and I can easily make a uh, you know a table like this now this is more meaningful now this table shows uh, values uh, up to 35,000 and the frequency is 338 which constitutes 71 percent 71 percent the second category that is uh, uh, from 35,001 up to 65,000 the frequency of uh, respondent is 100 it is uh, 21 percent and in this range the total number of respondent is uh, 30 and uh, 95,000 and above there are six so out of 474 71% belongs to the first category 21 to the second category uh, 6.3 to the third category and 1.3 to the fourth category this is how we can make a, a, you know a tabulation of a quanti uh, quantitative variable uh, that's why instead of going to uh, make a frequency distribution of a quantitative variable it is better to convert a quantitative variable into a group data and uh, now this uh, this this table is meaningful you know all the observation uh, in frequency is the same and the total of uh, the frequency is also equal to this this one is short very brief and it also gives us information this this tells us about the raw data but this table tells us about uh, the information and uh, information means meaningful data now in order to convert raw data into a meaningful data we have to convert raw data into group data and then you know it uh, gives us a very good uh, information about this i hope uh, you could uh, understand how can we make uh, a classification of various uh, uh, salary categories and then the frequency distribution of that you can follow it and uh, if you have any question regarding this you can uh, contact me by my email let me write my email for you my email is uh, my email is uh, khan dot himayatullah khan at uh, yahoo dot com you can you can you can reach me uh, at this uh, uh, at this email thank you very much for being with me for a while see you in my next video